rotaxowner.com. Welcome to rotaxowner.com's product review of Tanis Aircraft Products engine preheat system for the Rotax 912 914 series aircraft engines. In cold weather conditions, a cold engine start when the engine has not been properly preheated can cause engine damage and compromise flight safety. Engine warm-up times are increased and cold starts may be difficult if not impossible. A few of the flight critical conditions and difficulties associated with cold weather engine starts are Spark plugs may frost over if the engine does not start on the first try. Fuel vaporization is poor due to low temperature of the cylinder heads. Engine and gearbox casings shrink, resulting in reduced tolerances and increased drag. Cold temperatures can result in congealed or high viscosity oil that reduces lubrication and oil circulation to valve train components, cylinder walls, piston wrist pins, and rings. The Tannis preheating system is designed to aid you in starting your engine in cold weather and to reduce the problems of wear associated with cold weather starts. The Tannis engine preheat system applies heat directly to the cylinder heads, oil tank, and crankcase. This assures thorough heating of the entire engine in a safe and reliable manner. The Tannis system we tested was specifically designed for the Rotax 912-914 series aircraft engines. For our testing, we used a 912 ULS 100 horsepower engine. The system consists of four cylinder head heating elements, one crankcase heating element, one oil tank heating pad element, and a wiring harness. The provided installation instructions were straightforward and easy to follow. The heating elements for the cylinder heads replace the four short M6 by 25 mm bolts on the intake manifolds. The crankcase heating element replaces the lower front M6 by 30 mm crankcase bolt. The oil tank heating pad element is attached to the lower half of the oil tank using the supplied adhesive. The wiring harness sits neatly on top of the engine and connects to all six heating elements. The wiring harness is grounded at the ignition module mounting bolt. The completed installation is compact and unobtrusive. The entire engine preheating system weighs 15.2 ounces or 0.432 kilograms. The wiring harness is designed for the majority of engine installations so that the 115 volt power plug is located at the oil tank lid. This allows for easy access to plug in the preheat system via the oil tank filler door in the cowl. The Tannis system is designed to be operated for a minimum of 2 hours and a suggested 4 to 5 hours before the engine is started. It is not intended to rapidly preheat the engine. Some type of insulated engine cover should be used for extremely cold and windy conditions. For testing the Tannis engine preheat system, we used the controlled environment of a refrigerated semi-trailer. The trailer was chilled to a consistent minus 20 degrees Celsius. With a constant wind from the refrigeration unit, the interior of the trailer was subjected to a wind chill factor of minus 29 degrees Celsius. Our 912 ULS engine, complete with Tannis preheating system, was installed on our mobile test truck unit. Multiple temperature probes were installed on the 912 ULS engine. The location of these probes included the cylinder heads, intake manifolds, crankcase, gearbox housing, oil pump, oil tank, and ambient air. The test truck was then driven into the refrigerated trailer and allowed to cold soak for 15 hours at minus 20 degrees Celsius. After a 15 hour cold soak, all temperature probes measured between minus 20 and minus 22 degrees Celsius. The spark plugs were then removed and a tight engine torque test was performed as per the Rotax maintenance manual. The torque required to rotate the crankshaft of our engine at an ambient air and engine temperature of 30 degrees Celsius was 80 inch-pounds. The torque required to rotate the crankshaft of our cold-soaked engine 
at an ambient air and engine temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius was 210 inch-pounds. This shows that the cold temperatures have affected the oil viscosity and the tolerances in our engine, making the engine more difficult to turn over. As a comparison of oil viscosity, here we have an oil pour test of the 10W30 oil used in our test engine. On the left is the oil at 30 degrees Celsius, on the right is the oil at minus 20 degrees Celsius. With the 912 ULS engine cold soaked at minus 20 degrees Celsius, the engine was removed from the refrigerated trailer and we immediately attempted to start it. After three attempts without the engine starting, the cold soaked engine startup test was abandoned to avoid engine damage. The 912 ULS engine was then returned to the refrigerated trailer and allowed to cold soak for 15 hours. With the engine cold soaked, uncowled and unwrapped, the Tannis preheat system was plugged in and allowed to run for 5 hours in the consistent minus 20 degrees Celsius environment. During the 5 hour preheat period, all temperatures and thermal images of the engine were taken at 30 minute intervals. Here we see thermal images taken at 30 minute intervals. At the end of the 5 hour preheat period, the uncowled and unwrapped engine, having been subjected to minus 29 degrees centigrade wind chill, displayed the following temperatures. Cylinder heads, minus 3 degrees Celsius. Intake manifolds, minus 4 degrees Celsius. Crank case, minus 8 degrees Celsius. Oil tank, minus 4 degrees Celsius. In this worst case scenario we could create, with an uncowled and unwrapped engine submitted to minus 29 degrees Celsius wind chill, the Tannis preheat system raised the engine temperature an average of 15 degrees Celsius above ambient. A crankshaft rotation torque test was repeated on the engine after preheating. The torque required to rotate the crankshaft was now at 123 inch-pounds, a reduction of 41% over a cold-soaked engine. The preheated engine was then removed from the refrigerated trailer and we immediately attempted to start it. The engine started with some hesitation. Oil pressure was indicated relatively quickly and reached 70 psi within 2 seconds. The 912 ULS engine was then returned to the refrigerated trailer and allowed to cold soak for 15 hours. After a 15 hour cold soak, all temperatures measured between minus 20 and minus 22 degrees Celsius. With the engine cold soaked, the Tannis preheat system was plugged in and the engine wrapped in a blanket as suggested by Tannis. During the five hour preheat period, all temperatures and thermal images of the engine were taken at 30 minute intervals. Here we see thermal images taken at 30 minute intervals. At the end of the 5 hour preheat period, the thermal blanket wrapped engine, having been subjected to minus 29 degrees Celsius wind chill, displayed the following temperatures. Cylinder heads 10 degrees Celsius. Intake manifolds 12 degrees Celsius, crankcase 3 degrees Celsius, oil tank 4 degrees Celsius. With the engine wrapped in a thermal blanket and submitted to minus 29 degrees Celsius wind chill, the Tannis preheat system raised the engine temperature an average of 28 degrees Celsius above ambient. A crankshaft rotation torque test was repeated on the engine after preheating. The torque required to rotate the crankshaft was now at 92 inch-pounds, a reduction of 56% over a cold soaked engine. The preheated engine was then removed from the refrigerated trailer and we immediately attempted to start it. The engine started immediately on the first attempt. Oil pressure was indicated immediately at 70 psi. We were impressed with the performance of the Tannis preheat system. 
on our uncowled 912 ULS engine wrapped with a thermal blanket and subjected to minus 29 degrees Celsius wind chill, the TANIS system was able to increase the engine temperature by an average of 28 degrees Celsius above ambient over a 5 hour preheat period. The installation of the system was simple but does require the removal and replacement of critical intake manifold and case bolts. Rotaxowner.com gives the TANIS engine preheat system a performance rating of 5 out of 5, an ease of installation rating of 4 out of 5, and a value for money rating of 5 out of 5. Overall, Rotaxowner.com highly recommends this product. For more detailed temperature graphs and thermal images, see the additional documents section of this video review on the Rotaxowner.com website. For more information on the TANIS Aircraft Product Engine Preheating System, please visit their website at www.tanisaircraft.com. Stay tuned to rotaxowner.com for more product reviews, expanded instruction videos, and e-learning video modules.